We'll record this to the cloud, which I didn't do. Yeah, Logan is a beast. Um, let's see if I can do this here. There we go. And I am going to go home, remove, remove all this spotlight, make hosts. Boom. All right. All right, so we're going to go over here. Um, let me see something real quick. I want, every, oh, there you go. Come here, everybody. Hi. Say hi. hi. Let me see if we can find your husband here. Oh, it's on. I know he's on there somewhere. There he is. Everybody, this is everybody. This is this is Ryan's wife, and she has been phenomenal helping us get here, um, and helping us enjoy this experience here at Click Funnel. So we definitely want to give a shout out there and say thank you. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, we're going to be able to get a lot of good information to bring back to you guys. So. Yeah. All right. We're going to get the train soon. Okay, you got it, brother, okay? Uh, What's that? I don't know. I ate a bunch, but I thought there was still quite a bit. I'm going to try to get some more. Hey, Carlo, can you hear me a second? I'll see you. Logan, you good, bro? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, All right, man. I'm going to log off because it's really loud in here. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you're good. All right. Have fun. You were crying in the background. I just can't imagine him. Wait a second. Let me make sure I'm... Does anybody know how to mute everybody? <laughs> uh, let me I muted myself. You, I just muted myself. <laughs> I don't even know how to use the, the host. <laughs> but We're going to wing this thing together, Logan. You got it, baby. We're just going to wing it. But yeah, okay. Uh, I'm, hitting, I'm hitting mute. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, like Tommy said, I did uh, 39000 this month. And... Um, he wanted me to kind of share with you guys the system that I'm using. So um, I really can't uh, tell you the exact software, but so basically um, I invested a lot of money into a software that isn't public yet. So I'm kind of um, building my business within the software. And basically what they're doing is uh, most of my leads are coming from online online lead intake so people go on to my website and fill out um, a lead intake form and so you know they'll have on there uh, the reason they're selling um, how soon they're wanting to sell and uh, all that information and um, from there it'll send them automatic emails and text messages until they reply and then if they're not replying, then I start cold calling them. And that's basically, that's my main form of leads. I'm also doing RBMs and text blasts. And so I'll do, I'll drop an RBM and then I'll do two text messages. Um, one, two minutes directly after the RBM and then one 45 minutes later. And then after that, uh, the leads that don't respond uh, we're cold calling them and so I also have on my team a guy who is his main job is looking for JV deals here in Tulsa so he's reaching out to all the wholesalers in Tulsa and we're seeing what they got it under contract for how much spread they have if we need to stack our fee on top etc so I'm literally trying to become if you guys have, have you guys heard of Josiah Grimes in Arizona Keegley they do about 80 deals a month and all they do is JV deals. So that's, I'm trying to implement that as part of my business. Um, but yeah. And so I was kind of going to um, let this call be up to you guys. If you guys want to put in the chat, something that you want me to go over, um, we can talk about Airbnbs or if you guys have um, questions about a deal that you're working on right now or anything, I'll just, Leave it up to you guys. What do you guys want to talk about? Yeah, bro. I, I, got, a I got a question on a lead that I'm working on. I mean, okay. I, pr I feel like I got a pretty good ARV. I went with the, with the whole 70% uh, investor thing, but it's in West Virginia. I'm not, I'm not familiar with that market area. So is 70% a, um, a good number for an investor out there? Or do you know what the market is like out there? 
Uh, I'm not familiar with West Virginia, but I would say 70 percent is is probably pretty good for for anywhere. Um, okay. Yeah, but yeah, that's I mean that's what I would go off of for sure. Hey, yeah, Rose- Carl- hey Logan. You- so Roosevelt, the uh, just like Logan said, 70 percent is good. That's normally like the the baseline we all start at. You do right. get some markets that'll go to like 80, and some that are 90. But yeah. if you're in a place that's brand new and you don't know nothing about it, stick with 70%. Okay. All right. Um, the software that I use for my RVMs and techs is actually the software that I invested in that I can't say because they're not a public company yet. Um, they are act- they actually built that system. Hey, Logan. Hey, hey. Oh. hey Logan. Whoever was. Uh, I don't know if I skipped somebody now, but uh, this is not uh, I just wanted like a breakdown of like what was all the steps you took. Like I'm talking about everything, like from when you started driving for dollars and calling people to uh, what was the next software you got from there to. I just want like a, uh, you know, maybe a quick run through, but just like all the steps you took to get where you at now. Okay, for sure. Yeah. So I actually um, I heard about wholesaling from a dude that I went to high school with and he's actually doing about 100K a month right now up in Kansas City. And so I was seeing all his Instagram posts and things like that. And, um, you know, I just asked him about it and he kind of gave me a little bit of breakdown on it. So I started watching uh, Max Maxwell's videos and listening to his podcast. And I heard the one that Tommy was on. And so I actually scheduled a call with Tommy and I told him, you know, I was really interested in getting into real estate. And so I joined the course. And so like my first deal that I did, um, it was um, driving for dollars. And I was literally just using uh, White Pages Premium. So I was using the county assessor's website. And that's how I got my first deal was cold calling. That's actually why I'm huge on cold calling, because I think cold calling is definitely one of the most effective ways of marketing, in my opinion. But that's pretty much uh, where I started. Okay, and when you went from there, then what was the next step? Um, the next step is I w- I put that money that I use or that I made from that wholesale fee into getting um, REI ready, and that's when I started uh, getting familiar with RVMs. And I noticed that it really works here in uh, the Tulsa market because there's not a lot of people in Tulsa doing RVMs. Hey, okay, Logan, yeah. this is Carla. Do you still have your Carrot website? Is that what your lead, where you're getting your leads generated from? Is that Carrot yeah. website that you, okay. Yeah, that's the Carrot website. Okay, so the the guys that, that, that built that RVM tech system that you have, I mean, are they going to put out that system anytime soon? Or will you let us know when that happens? Yeah, I will for sure let you guys know. I'm not sure what their plans are, really, as far as making it a public company. But I know it's coming out this year. And would you say that's been helpful in the greatest part of your success as far as you know, getting in touch with uh, potential sellers? Um, yeah, for sure. At least I noticed it this month. Um, actually, all the 39,000 in assignment fees that I did was leads from from their software. So, absolutely. Hey, Logan, I, I, I you, go ahead. Go ahead. You good. Yeah, I was just going to ask about PropStream. Are you, um, are you using PropStream or have you used it in the past? Um, I don't use PropStream. I use Deal uh, Automator. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. It's exactly like PropStream. It's uh, what Cody Sperber, the clever investor. It's what it's his version of PropStream, pretty much. But from what I can understand, they're pretty much just alike. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. What is Carl? Deal Automator. And that's what Hello. I'm... Hey, Hello. What's up? what's up, Logan? What's up, man? All right, not much, man. How's it going? Good. How are you, man? Good. So my question is, um, I just set up lip uh, list source. Uh huh. And the uh, Mojo Dialer. 
Are you familiar with that? I've never, I've never actually used a Mojo dialer. Jamisha was telling me that I need to, need to get ahead and get on one, but. Okay. Yeah. I probably wouldn't be a lot of help with you on a Mojo dialer. I'm here. Okay. I can answer the questions about this source of Mojo dialer. I'm just in the background because I'm getting the kids ready. But what question did you have? So I'm, um, I'm new, obviously, and um, I have it set up, but I haven't gotten a list yet. Um. Because I'm a little, I, I tried it before on, um, I think it was PopStream. And uh, when I tried to download the list, I got a whole bunch of different stuff and it came out in um, in notes as opposed to um, the uh, the spreadsheet. Okay, so, so you already got a list from list source. Did you skip trace the list? Because you're not going to put the data in Mojo Dollar until you've gotten it from yeah, till the I, Till I break it down, right? Right, have you already got it? Trace? No, no, no. I haven't even gotten a list yet. I just, I just got the, the, um, what do you call it? The list source, right? Okay. Does that make sense? It okay. does. You and, got a and, list. And, mm -hmm. Right. So I got list source and I got the module dollar. Now the next thing for me to do is, is buy the list, right? Right. Purchase the list, right? And then I break Push. it down. I understand that. Um, so I don't know. Uh, so I, I'm saying, would you suggest be to just go ahead and try to get the list and 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 and, and break so it down and put it steps. into? You, you got the list. So the steps are: you have the list. You already paid. Per, once you purchase the list, then you have to format it so you can get a skip trace. And then once you right. get a skip trace, it's going to come back with you first name, last name, property address, mail and address, and then three phone numbers. Once you have right. it in that format, you've scrubbed it. Then you're going to um, import it into Mojo Dollar. So the dollar okay. is the very last okay. thing because you got to have all the data arranged and scrubbed. And then once you put it in the dollar, do you have triple line or single line? I did the triple line. Perfect. Once you get it in there, then you can select, you know, if you want to do one line, two lines, or three lines. Before you even get to the dollar, you need to purchase the list, skip trace the list, and then once you get it back from being skip trace, you, skip trace, you need to scrub it. Scrub it meaning you got first name, last name, all your data is pretty much um, complete throughout the whole CSV file. And then you um, okay. and then you import it into Mojo. Mojo is very, very helpful. Um, you call them, select option two, they pick up on the first call and they'll walk you through it. They also have uh, webinars every day at uh, 11 o'clock and four o'clock, which will kind of get you started too. Okay, that was pretty good because they did call me today. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, so I know that that was a good thing that at least I have a contact or, or you know, um, oh, but really, I guess really the, the and last question is, videos are good too. okay, okay. So the, do I need to have Microsoft Excel or some, or, or Google, uh, I Google don't. Sheets is free. Okay, good. Google Sheets, Google Sheets is free. You got a Gmail account, you can use Google Sheets, um, download the third option from the bottom is going to be CSV. It's gonna put in a CSV file yep. and then you just uh, map it. Beautiful. And then put it in Mojo. Yep. That's perfect. That's all. That's that's perfect. I appreciate yeah. that. Okay. My oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Google Sheets. I don't even use uh, like Cody. Yeah, and I get on Logan about a dollar, guy. My guys, my goals right now. My goal right now is to do six hundred, six hours, and I need to do um, at least a hundred dollars an hour. So I'm trying to do. 600 a day uh and convert one an hour i think i'm trying to that's where i'm trying to crack uh track my kpis the advantage of the multi-line dollars realistically a lot of people are not answering numbers that they don't know um, a lot of people are at work um so definitely definitely try to hit the dollar and commit to a minimum of three hours a day i'm here so, i'm going back on mute if you go ahead Demisia. So, okay, so you said when you um, do the Google Sheets, you go to the third option down to the bottom and press what? For the, you go for uh, download and, and download, and it's, it's the third option from the bottom. So, three, two, one. Third yep, option, I got it'll say, it is say um, download CSV. C CSV? Uh-huh. Charlie, uh, Sam, Victor. Charlie, Sam, CSV. Okay. Because... Yeah, because I downloaded it and I spoke about it. Um, uh, I think, I think to, um Sunday, and when I down, I downloaded it and I called myself. Um, actually, um, trying to print it and it came out looking crazy. But Tommy told me just leave it on the computer. 
So I'm have my daughter put it in the um the Google Sheets tonight, and we're gonna Google run Sheets through definitely don't five. print it. You don't have to print it at all. Just download it um in Google Sheets. Uh, where, where you where did you get the list from? You already got it skipped. Uh, yeah, from list source. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So once you get so you, oh, source, I gotta, you just so I, gotta, so I gotta skip the list next. Skip you gotta skip list. the list. You gotta get some numbers. We gotta call them. So who are you? Who are you guys using? Like REI and Skip? Because there's a bunch of them out there. You can use REI Skip right now. I know Tom. Tommy does all that. He uses Max's. Um, okay. So you just REI Skip. Right? I know Max had a discount. Yeah, and Max had a discount for a while. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I use Max's, um, and it's really good. It, it takes maybe. Okay. Um, it takes maybe a day or it takes about a day to skip or maybe um a few hours to skip and then after that everything's put in after you do your um excel sheet spreadsheet and it it gives you all the numbers and then after that it's it's a whole lot it's really really a good program um rei the one so i know we did the video the other day we did the video the other day is it actually um i checked i didn't see it on there on the um the E to E program, so I can like just follow it as a tutorial. Is is it on there yet? It it might not be. It usually take some. It's usually give or take a week. Oh okay 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 okay. So I probably just I should probably Google it or I'll just go on YouTube or whatever. But um okay so not the not the break not not the get off off topic but okay so I sent out a mail the other day and the individual called me back and said that I sent it to his address and I apologized and. Before I hung up, I asked him if he had some properties for sale. And he told me, yeah, I'm in Connecticut. And the properties that he owns is in, um, it's in, um, um, it's in Georgia. And um, he said he had five of them. It turned out to be six because he called me back with, with an additional one today. And my question was, he was, he sounded like he was, um, like, really wanted to sell it. And I asked him why. And he said he was a tired landlord. He said he was tired of it. But my, my, my issue with this right here, so like I told him I was going to get back to him Friday, and I'm trying to figure out, so I got somebody to go over there and look at the property and, and um, actually um, take pictures of the property, but I'm just trying to figure out, like, I'm trying to get the ARV on Zillow, and I just need a little bit of help with that, because I'm in Connecticut, and the property is down south. Can you get a, can you, can you get a, a, a realtor? To uh, get the um, my realtor, my realtor said, my my realtor said because he's in Connecticut, he, his license is in Connecticut. It's not in another state. So, so I guess from what he's telling me, he don't have access to the MLS in other states. Is that true? Uh, they realtors hey, only uh, have access. Okay, to okay. Joe, you said Joshua. Uh, you, if if Tommy was on this call, he would tell us not to fool with realtors. I'm licensed personally. I don't do traditional real estate. But what uh -huh. you run into when you're dealing with realtors is you're not licensed. So legally. That you're, they're not going to be able to put you on the hood. So they can close and, and just screw you over. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but you got to be real careful with um, with dealing with realtors. My question to you is why can't you find the comps? Have, did you look for the comps on Zillow? Okay, so I looked on Zillow, and what I did was I, I was trying to find the filter because um, the guy that I spoke to up today, what, what was his name, man? I wrote, I wrote the book. He's probably on this conference call right now. He told me to go to Zillow and filter everything out and the house so in that neighborhood in the last um the last thirty in the last ninety days. Cause I can't reach over so there with a boiling pot and, and make sauce. Houses, um oh I'm sorry, I mean I looked on Zillow Zillow said the his house was houses was within the thirty to um, thirty-five thousand dollar range. And but it's two two one. And all the houses in that area is two, three, two, four. And the, Joe, the house that was like closest to the comparable was was sold for one hundred and fifteen thousand or one hundred and twenty. Hold up, have you have you watched the video on how to how to find the ARV yet? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Go go Maybe go back go back. Video. Yeah, go go watch it. Like I, I probably watched it. There's a couple videos I watched at least five times, and that was one of them because I wanted to know exactly what to do. Okay. So I I would just revisit yeah. that because trying trying to figure out on the call is gonna be tough. You got you actually got to just go. And then after you do it a few times, if you're if you're a little bit unclear, then you'll have a really specific question like, ah, I know how to do this part and this part, but I'm not sure about this part. Because right now it's such an open-ended question, okay. we would have somebody would have to like walk you through the process. 
Or JV with somebody. Find somebody okay, that's here okay. in Georgia. Remember, Max always said it's better to, what What did he say? Bite the grape instead of ha eating a whole watermelon? Uh, yeah, half, half the grape. Something yeah, like, like that. Yeah, grape. you might have to get okay. with Tommy. Tommy's hey, right here. His whole team is right here. You might hey, have to JV going, with somebody. What's going on, George? Okay, cool. You was um, talking to me earlier, and um, I'm the one who um, live out here in Georgia, and I was trying to break it down to you over the phone about the okay, um, John, demographics of, of Valdosta. So Valdosta, when I when I when I was able to get a to get a good hold of, of Zillow to see the property sold under fifty thousand dollars. So when you when you check it all, you want to see those properties sold under fifty thousand dollars because those are the the, the, the pop it's gonna populate the um the buyers. So once you get those addresses um, like I was explaining before, you can skip trace those addresses and then you can see who's the actual buyer, if it's an LLC or if it's a personal, you know, homeowner. You, you. And, and yep. nine okay, times out of ten, you, if it's an LLC, you can reach out to them and then that's how you're going to start getting your buyers list. So um, I, I, okay. I could go over some more details with you more more in depth, but like 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 they said, it's, it's very, okay. very, you know, Okay, so this is, so when this is over, I'm gonna holler at you. All right, ten four. Hey, yo, going back to REI skip. Y'all can have more. Hey, going back to REI skip because I've been using it and it's just not. I think y'all heard me on a couple calls ask about another way to find numbers because I find I probably find more numbers googling than I do using REI skip. So is there anybody that's used REI Skip in another software that, that you might say the other software gets you any, any numbers any better? Hey, George, uh, it's Ali. So most, almost every program you use, whether it's REI Skip, whether it's Propelio, whether it's PropStream, it's all going to be dependent on the area and the, the system itself. So like for you, the tricky part might be, where are you at right now? Where are you physically when you're in the market? Where's your market at? I'm in, I'm in Raleigh, but I, I'm doing Raleigh and like the Boston. Most All right. Of Raleigh right now. All right, cool. So I love looking at Carolina myself. I'm not playing in the field, but uh, I mess with PropStream all the time. And when I do, I'm also using REI Skip. Now, um, the tricky part for you is because you're using REI Skip right now and you're trying to look at a different one, what you need to do is as you, as you bounce system to system, that's fine. Just make sure you're taking the notes and, and figuring out what your ROI is. Because if you find that if you use Propelio and the Propelio gives you, let's say one out of 10, but prop streams give, I'm not prop stream, but um, what is it called? REI skips giving you five out of 10. You want to make sure you're aware of that. So then what you're doing, instead of just bouncing, you're, you're narrowing down the window as to what your funnels will be. The catch for you is going to be, regardless of where you go, what, what location you're at, it's always going to be uh, a matter of figuring out what what's going to work best for your market. That makes sense. Yeah, and that, yeah, and that's why I was kind of asking. I didn't know if maybe somebody had transitioned specifically okay. from you know I started with REI Skip and then I use this one and I use this one because their experience was just better. So I was just wondering, basically, did somebody do that legwork for me already? Yeah. Well? So I got I got a couple. Um, <laughs> hit me up on the on the FB group or um, hit me up and I'll, I'll shoot you my number and then what I'll do is I'll text you text you or I'll just hit you with the, the sites that I found as I, I was going through just to see. Because not all of them worked well, but, you know, it is what it is, like I said, so. I recommend right. Yeah, Ali. I'm about to put I my number quick, in there right now. Ali. I got a quick question for you. Um, somebody, somebody came to me with a property out in um, High Point, North Carolina, Do, um, and they were selling it for like 25 with the ARV and everything, and um, I was looking at the area. It looked it looked a little sketchy, but I I, I, um, I wanted to get some input. Being that you're in North Carolina, if you think that's that's a good investment area. So to clarify, I'm not physically in Carolina. I bounce around quite a bit. So right now I'm living in Baltimore. I'm as we speak. I'm sitting in Huntsville, Alabama. Um, so my advice to you would be. When you go on to, what you can do is go onto the county websites, and this is what I do for all areas. I just, I was born in Carolina, kind of grew up in Carolina, Virginia, so I know a little area a little bit better. But what I do at any, any market I don't know about or anything that I'm looking to try and JV with somebody at, I'll go on the county site or I'll type in um, crime in whatever county, right? And it normally will give you a map 
And on that map, it's got a split. It's just split into each city, each little area on that city. And they'll color code it from like a light blue to a dark blue. And that can tell you, give you a, a, a roundabout way of you knowing, okay, there's a high crime area. It's not. After you do that, then I'd recommend hopping on um, Google Maps and just cruising that area and seeing if it's um, good or bad. Once you finish that, then I want you to go on to Facebook, look up all the real estate investor uh, groups in there, join every single last one of them in North Carolina and ask that same question. Hey, does anybody know about the High Point area? What can you tell me? Um, I know about Elizabeth City. I know about Raleigh. I know about Charlotte, but High Point uh, and Roanoke Rapids, but High Point is, um, that would be another one that'd be new for me. What you want to know about High Point and I'm 15 minutes from it, man. I got there properties go. over there. See? What you need there to you know go. about it. Hit the OG. <laughs> okay, um, I have I have on, somebody man? who who was um selling a property at in, in High Point for like twenty five mm -hmm. twenty five thousand over there by Ashborough Street, and um when I was looking at it, 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 it you know it looked like an etchy area, but it's hard for me to tell if that area is going under development or what's 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 the benefit the benefit. The benefacto, why people will buy in that area, I, I don't even know if it's a good investment. So that's why I was trying to see if somebody who was in that area could give me some light, whether or not this would be a good you know, investment to take on. Yeah, um, so High Point, um, smaller city, uh, High Point University is, is really growing, but they do have a little crime problem right now in certain areas. Um, you know, not to take up too much of the time on the call, I man, if you want to you want to send me your info, man, I can, um, you know, I can do a little reconnaissance for you and, and give you some, um, give you some intel, man, to help you make a more informed decision if you want to, man. I'm, I'm Yousef, man. And, uh, yeah, I'd be, I'd be glad to do that, man. I've got a duplex I just put under contract over there, but yeah, man, uh, good or bad, you could you could still probably move it, you know, make a little bit of money at, at, at that price though, over there, depending on the condition, of course. Um, hey, love that question All right, thank you. All right, no problem, bro. Logan, I yeah. have a question for you. Um, this is Stacy from Boston. All if right. you have limited, when you first started, did you have um, a limited amount of funds, or did you have enough funds before your first deal to get started? And if someone doesn't have um, enough funds, I should say. To uh, which, what is the best way to get started? Uh, the best way to get started, in my opinion, well, I guess to answer your first question, um, I had a decent paying job. I made like $18 an hour. I was an HVAC tech. Um, I didn't really have, I guess, I mean, obviously I had limited funds, but um, mostly I had limited time because um, I was always getting off work at like 10 o'clock at night. So when I hear people say they don't have time, that's not true because I got my first deal. Done this day, so. But anyways, um, the best way to do it is, like I said, you know, uh, how I got my first deal, White Pages Premium is $20 a month. Everybody in here can afford $20 extra a month, right? There's mm -hmm. Not to. You can sell something for 100 bucks and pay for four months of this. So do that and drive for dollars. Get on the county website, which is free, and still trace them on White Pages Premium. That's that's if you have like serious limited funds, that's definitely my recommendations. And yeah, driving for dollars is always a really good way to get leads. And I also forgot to mention that as part of my system as well. Uh, me and the two other guys on my team. What, what was the last thing you said? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, I'll say, go ahead. What? What's that? No, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't hear the last part of what you said. It can't, you were going in and out. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, I was saying that that is part of my system is uh, driving for dollars. Me and the two other guys on my team, we have a deal machine account and we do targeted direct mail every month. We do in, nothing huge, but anywhere between 30 and 50 a month. Yeah. Cause I, um, I drive for dollars a lot. The only thing I didn't, um, I have, um, it's just like I have too many things. You know what I mean? I ended up getting props, um, um, 
what is it pop pop stream like that. yes pop stream i have that i have rei rail i have you know it's like it's, i'm beginning drink um deal machine it's like everything is just adding up so it's like okay now nah, i need a deal <laughs> Hey, Carla, did you get your list? Was you able to use that information from the last um, meeting? Um, this is Stacy, but I. Stacey, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I do. I do have a list. I do have a list oh, that I'm calling on. Um, it's just that I'm running out of funds, you know, to to now skip trace and add. You know what I mean? So were, you, so were you able to sit in and make the calls and, you know, remember we spoke on the last, uh, I think it was Sunday, right? Yeah, I got rid, I, I didn't get rid of pop screen, uh, pop, um, sorry, stream yet. But um, I think REI Rail is pretty helpful. That's pretty helpful. The driving for dollars, um, the white pages, that's what I'm going to, I think, then uh, I won't have to worry about. Until I get a deal, then I can go back to using Max's because his is really good because he has videos to train you on the whole, um, you can start a campaign. You know, it's, it's like, it's real. I don't want to get rid of his because I've already invested too much into it. Um, oh, so, but I'm not going to skip trace, use his skip tracing yet. I, I, I'm going to have to do it the freeway for now. Yeah, I, my recommendation is, I mean, since you do have a limited amount of funds, like I would stick to driving for dollars and uh, ways of skip tracing. That way you have more funds. And then once you get, if you get Max's again, cause you can pause your account on there. I don't know if you knew that or not. You no, can, I didn't. Yeah, you so you can. can. Your account on there. Oh, but thank you. When you get a system like that, like, cause REI rail is a whole entire system. Like you want to master that. Like once right. you, because it's $97 a month. It's not cheap, you know? So nope. <laughs> you're going to be paying 97 a month. You know, you really need to sit down, watch all of their videos, and just really learn their system. And that's pretty much my recommendation. But, mm. I mean, you can And make if, I can, if I can piggyback off of that, too, uh, I have RIR. I'm a fan of it. And one of the things I like about it is the text alert. I don't know any other system, any other system that can give me that text alert if I'm picking my kids up or, you know, I'm, I'm not in front of my computer. But something I learned from a conference before. I know you pay that $500 license, $500 license fee for RI Rail and you just said you invested to it. Mm -hmm. If you pay for a ship, a cruise, and you couldn't get your money back and the ship had a hole in it, you wouldn't get on that boat, right? Right. So in this business, and I learned this from that from that course, in this business, it's going to be a lot of times we're going to lose money. Yeah. Right. Um, so I am a fan of RI Rail. I am getting rid of RI Rail because, um, Tommy, we're doing some scaling right now. Um, and really, I'm only paying $97 a month because of that text alert, because there's a lot of glitches. I love Vince. I, I love um, I love the whole REI Rail team, but there's a lot of get glitches that they're working through. And right now, we can just use yep. that $97 with something else. So good point, Logan. Um, and I want to tell you guys the little scenario about the shit, but uh, you can freeze your account. Okay, I'm going to do that. Hey, can I, can I jump in yeah. here real quick? Um, Carla, is that your name? Is that your name, Carla? I'm Carla. That's... Stacy. Yeah. Stacy, okay. I'm sorry. Stacy. Yeah, listen, right. listen, Stacy. I just want to say one quick thing. You know, okay. in this business, it's easy to get shiny object syndrome. And a lot of these right. tools are great tools, you know, but right. nothing. And, and they'll, from the guys from Max to Sean Terry, anyone to tell you, no tool can outperform consistency. You know, get your knowledge yeah. base up first because it doesn't matter if you got 100 to tools and they all work. If you're overwhelmed, and you I know, am. If you're, over, if, you're, if you're overwhelmed, none yeah. of it makes any difference. You know, you can get in your car and just go write down the addresses of distressed properties and vacant properties yeah. and make that work for yourself. You know, you don't need all of these tools right now. You know, okay. I, I watched a webinar with a guy out of Tennessee, and uh, he doesn't use anything. He doesn't use a CRM. He's never heard of REI Pro or REI Rail or none of these things. He's a country guy. He's funny, but he's still bringing in five, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000 a year. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So get yourself consistent. Don't get caught up with the numbers. Don't get caught up with the systems. Build your knowledge base up. Get your level of understanding up. You know, right. get some of this, this shiny objects out of your face and just understand what you want to do and what your objective is in this business before you go buying all these tools. Because these things are just like the icing on the cake. They're not the cake. 
Right. The cake is your knowledge base and your ability to understand the industry, to set goals, and then to, 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 to formulate a process and see it through. That's the important yeah. thing, okay? I appreciate that. Uh, that's and no problem. Well, yeah, a quick question. You guys, just one other question. Um, are you guys using um, Tommy's script? Are you using Tommy's script when you call, when you cold call? Because I've been doing cold calling lately, so. Um, so, so, Carla, uh, don't. So, no, yeah. I so stay, if I may, um, when you use it, and I, think, I don't think I've told you, talked to you about this before, but when you're using a script, so no matter what script you use, the script has to first face, fit you as the person. The script is simply a guideline. Don't sweat every line by line by line by line. You got to master it. And that's the reason Tommy will say, hey, go through the script and go over it. Practice it. When you're at home, talk to yourself. Practice it. If somebody asks you, you turn to them and you practice it on them. You know, the little ones behind you, you practice it on her. See if she responds. You never know. She might hang up the phone on you, but she might not. The point is, you got to practice, practice, practice when it comes to the script. Because just like, just like Yousef said, the two key things he said is that the two greatest things in this business is consistency and networking. If you're doing those two things, you're going to get it at some point. Now, don't get me wrong, I haven't gotten my first deal yet, but I've, I've definitely learned quite a bit through Logan, through Yousef, through uh, Mullen, through Tommy, like, and shoot, for half of all you guys, and, and Jamisha, I talked to Jamisha quite a bit too. So, like, all you got to do is continue to network, continue to drive, continue to go forward, you're going to get it. But when it comes to script or any of this other stuff, outside of the basic formula of ARV deal, 10%, knowing the 1% rule, 2% rule, knowing your market, outside of those things, everything else is fluid according to you and your market. So you got, that's what you got to kind of key in and focus in on. Okay. And I can take it back, put this script on your mirror. When I was learning my script, I put it on a sticky. And in the morning when I got up, when I brushed my teeth, I got up. Every time I went in my mirror, I was role playing. I was talking to myself. Okay. I just didn't know if I was saying the right things. I mean, I was building rapport. Um, people are calling me back. I was getting a lot of tenants as, as opposed to the owners. But as um, far as my, once I skip trace the numbers, but I'm like, am I saying the right thing? I don't know if I'm saying the right thing. Am I, you know what I mean? So, but, uh, so that's, that's all about, just like I said, it fits you. So you got to figure out what's going to work right for you. Like every call is not going to go well. Matter of fact, the fact that they don't go well is good. Because now you got to look back and say, all right, well, I said this. He didn't seem to like that. Let me try this. And you, the reason they've got all these scripts, the reason Tommy has script, and the reason, uh, uh, what's his name, Max has a script, the reason the guys at Carrot have a script, TTP, all these guys have a script. Is they made they, they, they found a script it, and made their own script. Exactly, George, exactly. They went line by line. Oh, my bad, my line. bad. You good, bro. They went line by line by line. And they, they narrowed it down to a window that worked for them and their area. And then they passed it on to everybody else. Like, if you know Max had that REI rail for a minute, he had REI rail and RVMs for a long time. He had it in pocket for about a year and a half before he actually put it out. The reason is he's going down and he's breaking down his stuff. He's trying to figure out which pieces work, which pieces don't. He's got to refine it. He's got to, he's got to key it in. Once you got, in the Army, we call it a shot group. Once you got that shot group tight and everything's real small, you're hitting the same target it. over and over again. Exactly. And then that's it. It's easy peasy. But you just got to stay consistent and keep going. Even if it gets ugly, even if they hang up on you 50 or 60 times, you're going to get it. You just got to keep going. That's it. You send me a message and I'll I role play with you. I don't mind. I, I can commit to helping you uh, 10, 20 minutes a day to role play. And, and always be mindful. It's not personal. We dollar for dollars. We are dollar for the Wolf of Wall Street. We are dollar for dollars. Every time they cuss me out, hang up on me, I call them back. Once they start talking to me, the simplest things, hey, how's your day going? Building rapport with them, not getting straight to them. My, my, my teammates work on me a lot because I'm, I'm very business assertive, I'm very aggressive, and I have to constantly check myself. No script is perfect, I'm still learning. The more you do it, the better you get. But you send me a message, I role play with you, I don't mind. Hey, Logan. I, really I, love you. <laughs> I start, what got me, what got easier is I started saying, you know what, I learned back in the day when I tried to do this, um, someone had said, some will, some won't, so what next? I'm like, okay, then it just got easier. And I just kept calling. So I appreciate that. If you can give me your number, I um, definitely will. Thank you. What's up, Bell? I know you've been trying to ask a question. All right, yeah, just a quick one. Um, quick question. So when you're doing um, Deal Machine, do you find it more beneficial to cold call than send a mailer or vice versa? Uh, yeah, I send a mail. I always send a mailer. 
out the gate first, first and foremost. Yeah. Okay. And then you do like an enhanced search and then you will cold call. So how typically after you send a mailer, are you cold calling within that same time before the mailer gets there? Or you would kind of wait for it to send then cold call? Uh, I wait for it to send, then I follow up. Okay, perfect. Yeah. All right. That's all I need. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hey, I want to um, say something about uh, deal machines. A lot of people are asking about deal machines. I tell people that these mailers that come back are golden because that means other people have sent mail to them and they haven't been able to receive it. So that's when that's when I those that's when I go door knock those people. I go call them. I do everything. And another thing, I mean, we, we all sit here talking about, you know, lists and REI Pro, REI Skip. I'm in South Carolina, a non-disclosure state. We can't even use list source. So all those lists that everybody get, you know, we got to do it the old-fashioned way. You know, we got to go out here, drive for dollars, you know, go to the courthouse. Um, I've been doing all of this without any of the systems, any of the whistles and the bells since October. And, I, I mean, I'm on deal number eight right now. So, like you were saying, consistency, consistency, consistency. Don't worry about, you know, trying to, you know, get all the bells and whistles, man. Just get out there and do it. For sure. Right. Hey, uh, Logan. What's up, man? Yeah, you were saying something about getting off of work at 10 o'clock at night and still was able to make it happen. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, my thing right now is I, I'm a con- I, I work, like, from 6 to, like, 3, right? Right. So I really have no excuse, pretty much, but to come home and get on that phone, right? Yeah. Pretty much. For sure, yeah. Yeah, because I, I was struggling with it, you know, because um, I, I got, like I said, I, I set up the list source, I set up the, um, the mojo uh, caller, and the thing is that I didn't want to, he said if I didn't start using that list right away, that there was a possibility that somebody else might beat me to that call if they got that list at the same time that I did. I don't I mean, know if that, that... Yeah, I mean, probably 90% of leads that you get in contact with, somebody's probably gotten in contact with them before. That doesn't mean so It's anything. all about... Yeah, right. Numbers, game, and timing, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, half of this business is all timing. So I wouldn't... Don't even worry about that. That's... that's Just get it a, done. Yeah. Really yeah. Fun. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. One more thing. Fun fact, my first deal I ever, ever closed when I walked into the lady's house to tour the house and take pictures, she had a stack of mailers like this high, just people mailing her about her house, about her house. My buyer actually had sent her, when my buyer showed up, he was like, yo, I've been sending this lady mailers for, for five months. He's like, how'd you get the deal? I was just like, I guess that's the right place <laughs> at the right time. So, yeah. like you were saying, consistency, consistency. That's good stuff, man. Exactly. I, you guys got, you got, I'm in Boston, man. You guys seem to have a little bit more leeway down there. We're South Carolina, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Is that yeah, short? Man, is that I'm in South Carolina, but I said, yeah. <laughs> Put your number in yeah, the chat. Yeah, I'm South Carolina. Like that. Well, maybe, we were a non-disclosure. Yeah. Because we came back on um, last week, and we were hoping you came back on because I texted Tommy and told him that it closed off on us. And so he put it back on and, and um, made um, Gregory the um, host. And you didn't come back on. So you put your number in the chat, and we'll, I'll contact you, and maybe me, you, and Gregory can get together. I, I, yeah, I don't know how to do that. Like, um, you don't know how to put your number in the chat. I do not. Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, I mean, you could put your if you want to put. The bottom of the screen it should say chat. Click on it. Say it. chat. The bottom. <laughs> Yeah, the bottom of the screen, it should be, or um, are you doing the computer or your phone? I'm on my phone. Okay, on the right. bottom of your phone, click on the bottom of hey, your phone. Hey, guys, real quick. Hey, the instead of, uh, hey, guys, instead of trying to, trying to, <laughs> trying to guide Conway all the way through this, Con Conroy, just, um, 
hop on the Facebook group, throw your number in there. And then as we continue, guys, you guys could like see if you can raise your hands um, in the in the chat group so we're not cutting each other off. We, we kind of got a little out of control. Uh, Logan hasn't exactly gotten much out. Uh, and with that said, I did want to ask Logan if he could if he could go over something real quick for me and just talk about the mindset. Because one thing we all fail to remember is that just like um, Stacey's having issues, I've had the same issues before, but it all comes down to the thought process and mindset we got. Um, and I know I've struggled with that in the past, and I'm sure Sean and Jamicia shoot Logan and, and Mo and all the guys shoot Josh for sure too. So if you could, um, if you could Logan, go into that a little bit, and I w I'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, everybody struggles with mindset, right? Like stresses in life and stuff. Um, one thing that I do is uh, every morning I listen to um, motivational guys like uh, Jocko the and uh, Andy Frasilla, the owner of uh, First Form Nutrition. Uh, that's kind of my way of dealing with it. Um, they're more of like intense guys. They cuss a lot, which I'm so some people might not be like that, but that's like my thing. Uh, also, honestly, um, in my opinion, I think a lot of like working out and just like having a healthy lifestyle can really, really help with your with your mindset 100%. Um, just trying to be like a better person all around um, will definitely help with your mindset. Another thing that I like to do is um, in my journal every night, um, you guys can try this out. It works for me. I write down three things that I was thankful for that day. And it can be as simple as I, I got to pay for my electricity bill this month, you know, because, you know, I'm sure as a lot of people in this group have experienced, um, you know, we weren't always able to do that. So just literally it can be as simple as that. And that's something I just really, I'm big on gratitude. You know, I, I, I write down three things I'm thankful for every single day. Okay, Sean or Marcus had his D Marcus had his hand up. What's up, man? Hey, what's going on, brother? How you doing? What's up, man? How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I appreciate you know the information has been very valuable. Got yeah, a question? You mentioned the software that you use. Um, I know you can't really talk about that, but is there a particular list that you target in? Um, is, is generating your returns? Um, so that's the, that's the stuff that they do on the back end. So I oh, okay. So they create the list too. Yeah. Okay. All right. I understand. I got, I actually got one more question. Is Jamisia still on the line? Uh, I'm here guys. Hey, I, I got a question, man. I, I heard you talk earlier um, about um, the Mojo dollar, triple line dollar. I just got it myself. I just started using it a couple of weeks And you were talking about your KPI in terms of... Um, I think you said 600 calls. Did you say like 600 so, calls? So 100 calls, mm -hmm, six hours, 100 call an hour. You want 600. So it looks like about every 500, you might get a lead. Um, and we okay. just really changed our team structure. So um, the goal is, is, is six, six hours, $100 an hour. Um, and then every hour trying to convert one. Okay, try to convert it into a possible lead, right? Right. Okay, Where they're just cool, motivated, cool. they want to offer, um, before you even get to numbers, that they're really just motivated and wanting to sell. Okay, understood. Okay. Yeah, because I'm at a point right now with my job and my little man right here. I got about maybe two and a half hours, two and a half strong hours a day. So for the last couple of weeks, you know, that's what I've kind of stuck to, two and a half hours of calling a day. Um, generating leads, sending offers. So, um, yeah, I was just kind of interested in your KPIs and what you guys kind of aim for with the Mojo Dollar. So I think it's real effective too. And then in Mojo on the top right corner under your dashboard, it'll let you set your personal <clears throat> KPIs. How many hours a day, how many contacts, how many appointments. Right. You can set your goal, your, your target goal. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know. I appreciate it. That's the only question I have. You're welcome. Hey, Janicia, does it have um, call tracking with it also? Ojo, Ojo it, Dollar? It does. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so I wouldn't have to get like call rail or anything. Oh, no, it doesn't have call tracking. So you're trying to track each source. If it's a billboard, if it's a banner sign, if it's a um, a text magic, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. No. Okay. All right, thanks. You're welcome.
Hey, Carl, did you get the number? Carl, are you still there? Do you mean stay safe? Stay safe, you guys. Hey, sorry, I keep calling you Carl. I'm it's all good. You got two names today, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Um, did you put all the right. number in the chat, you said? Yeah, I did. Did you get it? I I see the uh, the Facebook group. Yeah, I joined that? that. Okay, and then where's the number at? I don't see that. Um, did, you, did, did you put you it on the Facebook write it group? Down? It's the number. You got a pen right there? Yep, I do. It's six one seven. Okay. Three three one. Okay. Seven eight nine four. Alrighty, and what's your name again? Convoy. Convoy. All right, awesome. So I'll get in touch with you. Okay. And I can give you mine real quick. It's uh seven seven four four okay. five one four five one. Uh huh. Oh zero eight seven nine. Zero eight seven nine. No zero zero eight seven nine. Yes, that's great. Yep. Okay. All right, peace, Logan. I got a, got a question for you, Deshaun Washington. Logan, are you there? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So um, I've wholesaled in the past, but that wasn't the right business model for me. So I'm switching everything up to I'll start a rental arbitrage business. Um, uh -huh. My goal slash plan is to have eight um, arbitrage properties by January 1st, 2021. My plan is to leverage other people's money to achieve that goal. Okay. I am in the process of creating my business plan. I'm on the SEL portion of that. When you're first starting out, how important is search engine optimization when you're just starting out getting your first property in Airbnb? I have a goal of getting two properties before April 2nd. So you're talking about like obtaining a property with the SEO? Yes. Yeah, you know, in, in terms of just developing that, because I have to present a, a business plan to these investors in my network that want to invest money into me to get everything started. Okay, I got you. Um, so like, do I need to, so to get more specific, do I need to even be knowledgeable in that area to go to investors like, hey, this is, the plan, this is what I have going on. This is the SEL component. Is that even imperative at this point? Since I ha don't even have properties yet. Um, With the strategy that I have. Yeah, I would honestly like raising money for Airbnbs is, is kind of tricky because um, you have to really look at like how, how you can, so if you're getting, let's say you get one property, right? Um, and you hire a cleaning lady. I mean, it's very lucrative if it's you using your own money, right? But where is it in for the investor? Like, how much are you looking to pay the investor? Um, that's something that we have to work out. Um, I have someone that's willing to invest 20000 I have another person that is verbally committed to a decent amount of money that's higher than $20,000. Uh, well, I'm literally, I just have to present a plan to the person like he's a, he's connected with a group of investors okay um i guess my best advice to that is to go to the investors and you know let them let them know the the risks of it and set it up on an on an amortization that works for everybody but you need to i don't know like what market you're in um you know you need to really study your your competition the bookings in the area that you're looking to get the property in and you, that's the tough part about raising money for Airbnb is because you kind of have to estimate it. So I would uh -huh. prepare for the worst when you're running your numbers with the Airbnbs and the bookings and the cleaning fees and all that. But that's pretty much my best advice. Go to the investors, you know, be honest with them about the risks and then set it up on an amortization. That would work. Okay, we will do. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the Indianapolis market. It's uh the fast it's the fastest grow it's the fastest growing market in the US. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, no, yeah. that'd be a great market. Columbus. 
uh, SDRs in for sure. Okay. Gratitude. I'm on it. Logan. Logan. Yeah. Can you hear me? Hey. Yeah, I can hear you. <clears throat> so, as as far as your business, what's the what's the what's the um what's like the split as far as your business? Do are you doing like wholesaling and um and um buying and holding also with, with maybe some like 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 flipping and stuff in it, or is it just like um pretty much just wholesaling? Yeah, so I'm doing wholesaling. I've got two Airbnbs and I've got one rental so far. But yeah, I'm looking to do everything. Oh, okay. Okay, how long? How long? If, if you don't mind me asking, how long have you been doing this for, man? Or, or how long did it take you to get your actual first deal? Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Hello. We lost you, Logan. We lost your voice, your audio. Hear me? Oh, All right, you, you good? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> hey, um, how long how long did it take you to get get your first deal? Uh, and took, how long have you been doing this for? It took me about three and a half to four months to get my first deal. I've been doing it for about seven months now. If I'm okay, that's what's up. Okay. So primarily, the beginning, your first deal primarily was um, driving for dollars. Yes. Yeah. And then you said you use, you said you use white pages premium, correct? White pages premium. So you so so that's that's pretty much um, what are are you using that for like a skip tracer or something like that? That's what I was using like a to, to skip trace like a single. Person. Oh, okay. You said single families. A single person, like when I was driving for dollars. And keep tracing people. Oh, oh, single person. Okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah. All right, thank you. Hey guys, if I could actually just add really quickly, and this is mainly, um, I, Stacy, when you were just sharing, you made me think about this YouTube video that I that I've been watching. Um, it's actually I put the link in the um, in the chat. It's a great video. To, um, to watch you on YouTube me? regarding cold calling. And it's a great way not to get caught up in the um, in this shiny objects when you're huh? trying to trying to be on a budget as well. Because I'm in, I'm in the same boat myself. So I, I, know, I absolutely I know, I know. understand. I saw it pop up. I was like, you, you watch that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Hey, guys, make sure you're on mute if you're not talking, please. Jaw, did you have a question there? Oh, he's on the phone. What's up, Gregory? I know you had a question. Yeah, I was actually going to ask a, another follow-up on the um, White Pages Premium, but I think you probably answered with the last one. I'm just, I'm really trying to figure out which tools I'm going to use to find these numbers, and the more the merrier. But if I'm going to pay for something, I want to make sure it works pretty well. So I guess the level of success you would say you had in terms of um, actually finding, you know, what percentage would you say white pages came back with? Pretty, pretty well. Uh, but just like Ollie said, like per market, it's different. Like because right. Ollie about white pages premium, he says it's trash where he's at. <clears throat> like, okay. I get a number maybe every time I've searched it. Really? Okay. Because I know. See, what happens is because I I Google a lot, and I don't know if this will help anybody. But I typically am just Googling the numbers. Like I use address and then person's name, put mm -hmm. phone number after a combination of different things. And I can tell which sites work pretty well because I can see which ones come back with the most numbers. And then I'm like, okay, this one, these numbers are usually good. So um, what's, there's one cyber, cyber something is, is a good one. Then verify comes back with a lot of numbers, but you know, it's just a lot of numbers. So it's kind of hit or miss. Um, free people search is one, mm -hmm. and I think search people free, which Nakia mentioned. I think that's another one that I've seen, and then white pages. Those are like the main ones. If I see a hit on those, it's usually pretty good, but I haven't taken the time to pay for anything other than REI skip. So I'm like, if I'm going to pay for something, I just want to have an idea that it may be pretty solid. Yeah, 
So my opinion on that is I've tried a couple different ones. Um, I've done been verified another one that I can't remember the name and white pages. White pages to me is like the simplest and most effective for me. Like it's, it's pretty simple and you can do an address lookup too. So. Yeah. Okay. So I cool, man. Mean, Appreciate it. If, if I, if I may, Logan, I mean, um, Gregory, man, I've used REI Skip. I mean, it, it works pretty decent, but like you said, not every number is, is a good number. Some people, they disconnect the numbers or it's not that person. I mean, I've got about maybe six calls. I got a lead from, six, not six, 60 calls, and I got a lead from, you know, one person out of that 60 calls. So it works. It just depends on, like you said, the market and everything like that. How y'all doing? Yeah, this I'm going to piggyback on that. Um, I'm, a, I'm over here in South Charleston, South Carolina, and I use uh, Ben Verify, and it pretty pretty much works good for me. It's like about 15 a month, but um, I'm always, um, I pretty much get 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 an accurate number. I might get five sometime numbers, give or take, but I'm always getting a number down here. And um, just to, also, I want to ask you, Logan, hey, what are those two guys that you say you follow, like, you know, in the mornings or, um, you know, to get the mindset right? Uh, Jocko Willicox. He's a former Navy SEAL. And then Andy Frisella. He's the, uh, the owner of the Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, and that mindset is everything as well. Like you say, every morning before I even get out the bed, um, you know, I thank, I thank the man upstairs for something. I'm grateful for, for something. And also I say affirmations every single morning. Like I don't miss a day without saying that. And it's, it's about mindset um, and also about focus. I was, um, I was doing really, I was in this, I was um, started for a while, but I, I do different businesses and I do a nine to five. But the moment I got focused and I said, yo, I'm gonna cut off everything. Mm -hmm. I literally got my first deal within that month. When the day I said, I'm gonna be focused and go all in. And thanks with my partner, Sean helped me with that deal. I got the second deal right after that, the second month working on my third deal. So it's about mindset. And I claim it. I'm like, I'm going to do 10 deals by April. You got to, you know, like I said, get your mindset right. Go out there now. And getting on a call, like calling is the main thing. I kind of fall off from that in a couple of weeks, but I got late to the call. I'm making calls. So mindset, you know what I mean? Get someone that you follow. I, I do nothing but positive books, people to motivate me. And just go out there and get it, man. For sure, man. Yeah, and I agree with you, man. Like, I, I think the same thing, you know. Like, I'm the best in my market. You know, there might be – uh, case capital here they do however many deals a month but i promise you if we go on the same appointment i'm getting that deal so right. yeah for sure hey logan what's up oh i got a quick question man um when um when you go in and negotiate like the price after you because i think one of my problems that i build rapport with uh -huh. the people but I take too long to close in on the deal. So if I, what I do, well, I, I think, cause I, I did a couple of them like this and messed it up. I think I build like a, a, a friendship with them. Mm -hmm. And instead of being putting a business aspect in there, I focus more on the friendship than the business. So when it come down to business, I've been, it took too long and they've been, made a decision like, you know what? I done thought about it. Nah, I don't want to do it. So my question is, how soon should I like, um, after I build rapport, how soon should I, should I follow up with them or should I try to close the deal sooner? Or what's the time, a good time frame for me closing in on the deal or following up with them? ASAP, like, cause if, if you're being friendly with somebody who says the wholesaler down the street's not gonna come in and throw them a number and it sounds good to them and they get their right. contract locked up right it honestly it sounds like and i'm not trying to be mean or anything it just no, go ahead. like you're not you're not being confident enough to to give them an offer you know right and that's something that i i was actually like i say that because i used to do that i would mm -hmm. give an offer and not sound very confident right so when you give the offer you you want to sound confident like this is the best deal that they're gonna get in their entire life you know so right just for, yeah, just that's what I, I would suggest for sure. Hey, I'm sorry, um, Logan. I got a question, boss man, and it might it might go back to Stan too. But 
when you're trying to get an offer, I know you're supposed to have the uh, seller the rare offer first, but how do you transition from the rapport to, all right, what's your offer? What, what's, a good, what's a good saying to that? Or, or the, seller, the seller giving you an offer? Are you asking me or Stan? Sorry, I'm confused. Uh, Logan, Lo Logan, Logan. Okay. So you're asking me, like, from when you go on the appointment, build the rapport, mm -hmm. and then an offer? Yeah, so how would you transition from the rapport and everything like that to what's a good bottom number for you, you know? Well, I wouldn't necessarily – I don't necessarily always ask that. It, it on, depends on the situation, you know. Mm -hmm. um, if it's a – you got to read people. If it's a straightforward guy and he doesn't mm -hmm. have that great of a personality, you got to match his personality and just give it to him straightforward. You know, right, right. If somebody – talking about their whole life story, sit there and listen to them for an hour and then mm -hmm. say, you know what, you know, I really like you. You might be the favorite part about this house. Mm -hmm. I'm really interested in this house and this is what I think I can do. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Cool, honestly, cool. You got to, you got to look at their personality. You got to read them, match them, and then just use that finesse into that offer, you know? Right. Right. I hear you. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, does anybody have anything else? Hey, Logan, I have one um, last question. When you're doing your offers, are you typically um, making one offer or are you doing two or three offers? I do two or three. Well, well, it depends on the deal, obviously, but I usually, so if it's a deal that can work for like a subject to a wholesale deal or an owner finance, I'll give them the three options right then and there. And I'll say, this is the option that I suggest, but here's, a couple other things that we could do. Okay, perfect. Deal of a sub two deal. I'm going to push that that option as hard as I can with them. You know. Makes sense. Yeah. Hey, uh, okay, hey, you've been awesome. Hey, hey team. Hey team. I'm I'm just curious. Um, and this is just a shot in the dark. I know sometimes people's budget might restrict them from doing their own skip 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 trace. And um, when I first started, you know, I'm talking about on a fixed income. There's a lot of people in this group that could, like, like Tommy said, could JV with one another. And some people have access to maybe TransUnion or they might have access to, like, like the other gentleman said, been verified. And you could also use guys within this own group to help. JV deals or to help skip trace and uh, obtain some information of properties. I'm just throwing that out there because that's, that's, that's what this whole team is about, you know, acquisitions right. and dispositions. So we got to use our teams, network with one another, because we all going to be in a place where we're going to start, you know, accessing multi-development units. I mean, that's, that's how I'm thinking. You know, I, I don't want to just be doing single family homes for the rest of my life. I want to be able to, to, you know, invest in a refund, a real estate investment trust with, with you guys, you know, thinking on that high scope, you know. So, you know, if you need something and maybe I could help you, you know, skip trace some information and I got the tools and resources, you know, we could, we, 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 we could always, you know, network and JV with one another. I'm just putting that out there. Yeah, that's actually well said. And for anybody, I actually have access to Ben Verified. So anybody who wants to reach out to me, I'd be more than happy to help. Thank you. Um, it, hey, um, Logan? Yeah, what's up, man? So how do you feel about uh, and do you use, um, what is it here, virtual assistants? Um, I'd, I'd, I have a virtual assistant, I guess, but she's in state. She's in the she, United States. So now how do you go about like obtaining a virtual assistant? I know it costs, but you know, I mean, that's something that could like pretty much benefit if, if you're able to go that route, right? Yeah, for sure. So in my situation, that was kind of a unique deal. Um, I met her at a real estate conference in Arizona and she has basically a money partner that she does flips with and she was just looking for some extra income. So basically I give her a percentage of the deals that she locks up. So you don't know how to contact one just from like uh, ground level? 
so to speak. Um, I know there's, uh, there's what, is, what is that website that has all the VA? Try Indeed or your, wherever. Um, Indeed? Yeah, I've, never, I've never looked into oh, getting five, all right? out of the States and stuff. So. Is, is the other one Fiverr? Old desk. Hey guys, this is Rishana. Um, try online jobs dot ph um, for the Philippines. That's online jobs dot ph, um, and they're pretty good. Upwork is another one too. Yeah, um, somebody good. typed in the comments, but yeah, online jobs dot ph, and they have a lot of. Um, a lot of resources on there. Like I hired um, my construction manager on there. Um, I do fix and flips in Chicago. And so, and she came with like, uh, she already had her degree and her construction background and project management background and stuff like that. And she was still, you know, like overseas prices, like three, $4 an hour. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Oh, uh, the name of that interview? I'm sorry. Did you have to do an interview? Is that how do you like you may yeah, like Yeah, I did an online interview on Zoom, just how we're like we're doing a video call right now. I just did it online. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you just can set up your Zoom, go to zoom.us and then create an account. Um you can create a free account if you want to but on the free account you can't do any videos more than 45 minutes or to cut off okay. um but if you just do a 30 minute interview or something like that if you set up 30 minute back-to-back -back interviews you should be fine um if you want to your zoom to last more than you know the video more than an hour then you just get the paid version you just got to pay for it okay yeah but you should okay. be fine just doing it on zoom for free okay all right, and that 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 is that like good for a month or something like that. Then you start paying. Is that how that works? No, it can be free forever. It's the longest. Oh. Yeah, you can get the free version forever. It's just um any video that you do like this, like a webinar that we're doing. <clears throat> if it goes forty five minutes, it's gonna shut off. Okay. All right. Beautiful. I'm gonna check that out. You're welcome. Thank you so and then much. When you start to yeah, you're welcome. And then when you start to build out like a team if you hire you know multiple people multiple people that aren't necessarily local i mean you can start doing like your team meetings and stuff like that on zoom too so yeah like, yeah so like i meet with my transaction coordinator on um zoom twice a week okay are you in the chat uh roshana uh what do you mean the chat the um are you in the um what's the facebook, facebook. chat or no, no, I know. I probably should be. I um, mm. I just started coming to class. I'm a bad student. <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, okay. uh, Tommy, I, um, I just Tommy, started also, so I'm just I was on here. What... Yeah, I was going to say, I was on here actually um, some a couple months ago. I actually came on here and, and spoke about raising private capital. And then, um, but no, I'm not really in the chat. I'm sorry. I don't even have the link actually. I would I would need to get it. Yeah, I think okay. so. I put it in there. Oh shit. Hey, um, hey, can I say can I say something uh, real quick? I'm sorry, I don't mean 36. to interrupt. Hey, I, I apologize. I don't mean to interrupt real quick, but um yeah, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I'm not sure if she trying to stay low key with it, but Rashana <laughs> is a big time man. <laughs> like she's on the time exactly. podcast. She's a That's very, right. She's a very uh, knowledgeable investor. She's all over Instagram. I didn't realize she was even on the call, so I just <laughs> want to say I appreciate it. I, it's so crazy. I listen to the Time Millionaire podcast, which is another good podcast, and she's a co-host on that. So I don't know if she's just trying to stay low key with it, but she's speaking that we live this year too. I was about to say, yo, she's on every roster. She's on every. She's on everything. Like that's exactly. Fun. On everything. She trying. She trying to hide out like she one of us. And look, I saw her name and I was like, that is that the one? Is is that the Rashana we know? Like, and she just came on. I was, yeah, you can do this, this, this. I'm like, really? Y'all are so silly. 
<laughs> well, thank you for all your kind words, guys. I'm gonna go back on mute. I'm gonna just listen. <laughs> I'm learning. Okay. Thank I'm you. Here. Thank you, Rashana. Thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Wow. Um. I guess while we were on the topic, y'all, I had put in um, the chat. So I learned from DJ um, Rehab in High Heels. It's her Instagram. I learned from her that you can go to Fiverr, and she was showing us how to search people that can actually go and skip trace for you. Um, and she was pulling up different ones. Like, I think one had up there, like, you can get 100,000 numbers for like a hundred dollars and she showed us a bunch of them where you can just go and hire people there that already have i guess whatever systems they have they must have already vetted it out and know that it works and if you get a wrong number uh some of them say that they'll do free uh, or unlimited modifications so if the number doesn't work or doesn't get to the person that you need then they'll they'll do it again as far as i guess for that number so that, that may be a good option, Fiverr. Fiverr, okay. I got that written down too. Thank yeah, you. Can I, can I piggyback on that real quick? And you know, um, that's a good point actually, because that's what I use. I've skip traced uh, quite a few different lists and it's actually worked for me. I'm in the Atlanta market as well. Now, I think what a lot of people have to know about different skip tracing softwares, I mean, they're not just these gurus that know how to find numbers. They even have access to two different sites that the public doesn't have access to either TLO or Accurant. Um, if you're not a, a established company, like we can't get access to that. So all these different skip tracing softwares, they use that to find the numbers. So if you go on Fiverr, which you know a lot of people might not recommend, these are overseas contractors who have access to TLO and Accurant. So a lot of times, this is a lot cheaper than these other softwares. I'm not saying don't use them because a lot of people have success, but and my, you know, Fiverr is a lot cheaper than a lot of them, and I've had success with those numbers. So I just put it out there like that. Oh wow! So you've you you've got some deals already, Marcus? You're on mute. Oh my bad. Yeah, I got yeah. um this year right here. I haven't closed on. I closed on five last year, and still working on a few others. But um, Fiverr is really good. A lot of people won't tell you that because these softwares, they, I guess, you know, it's an image that they try to portray that they just go find the numbers. But they're actually only using two different softwares. They're either using TLO, um, which you know, Tavi mentions a lot. Law, law enforcement has access to those softwares because yeah, yeah. I've heard it gets of that one. Through it. Yeah, it's either TLO or Accurate. So those sites like REI Skip and all that Skip, Bat Skip Tracing, all these different Skip Tracing websites, they use those two softwares. It's just that the common public doesn't have, don't have access to those websites. So I can't I can't apply for an Accurate account or a TLO account, but they do. So that's why we pay them the Skip Trace. But on Fiverr, what I noticed is these are independent contractors overseas that have access to that site. And a lot of times they're a lot cheaper. So that's what I've used. I'm not saying, you know, it's worked for me. So I just put it out there, Fiverr and Upwork. So Marcus, you said Fiverr, oh, not Fiverr. Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. -E -R. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Fiverr, okay. All right, thank you. So, so hey, um, oh shit, who was he? Uh, what's his name? I, I I forgot your name. We did. Um, are you, are Logan. you about to call me Carla, Stacy? Or oh, Logan? No, um, not Logan. The, the, <laughs> the guy was talking about the, the, the um, skip tracing. The guy with the kid that was talking about skip tracing. Yeah, that's me. That's Marcus. Oh, okay, oh, Marcus. 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 Sorry about that. No, that's all good. Um, uh, damn, I forgot to get the damn question. Um, What's wrong, bro? Yeah. But do you have do you have uh do you have uh are you using virtual assistants uh, through Fiverr? No, nah. no, nah, I'm not that nah. deep. I don't use virtual assistants in terms of like actual tasks. I just use the different independent contractors on Fiverr. Um, because what I noticed is, you know, for me when I was starting out, it was a lot cheaper. I couldn't pay 
um, essentially 50 cents a lead or 50 cents a contact and expect to get a thousand contacts because that was just a little bit too pricey for me. So I would actually buy a list from uh, list source or I do deal machine and um, I'll have a list of maybe 1500 contacts and I'll send it to a contractor in Fiverr and uh, I might have to pay maybe, I don't know, anywhere from a hundred, a hundred fifty dollars for an entire list. It was just a little cheaper. I took a risk because I seen a lot of other investors on, you know, Instagram, Byron the investor, Brian the Rigboo. This is something that they used before people started talking about all these other softwares to skip trace. Now I'm not knocking them by no means because it might be effective. But um, when I was starting out, that's what I used. I found a contract and I've used her every single time I've skip traced and I haven't had any problem. Now, of course, you're not going to get all the numbers. Nobody's going to give you all the numbers, but she has access right. to the same sites that these other companies use once you kind of, you know, do a little digging to find out. Okay. So I just go on. So if I go on Fiverr, I'm looking for people uh, who skip trace. Is that what, is that my key? Uh, is that the buzzword I'm using? I, I, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for if I go to Fiverr. Yeah. Yeah. You can search it. And what happens is a lot of, you search what you're looking for, skip tracing real estate, yeah. you know, leads or things of that nature and what's going to happen is going to come up with a, yeah it's going to come up with a lot of different contractors they're going to have uh what you want to look at is their reviews and their comments of other investors that might have used them and they'll leave a you know because every sort of transaction you do with them as far as giving them a list um you have to write a comment and essentially find, tell them like how to how to work and the turnaround time is like maybe a couple days sometimes like 48 hours Okay. That's good stuff, man. I appreciate that. Oh, no problem. Wow. All right, D Marcus. Cool. All right. Any anything else? Who's that? Uh, white pages uh premium. what about it? What did you say, Mark? I said, how much was the uh, White Pages premium? Uh, I think it's 20 bucks a month. What'd you say? I think it's 20, 20, bucks. 20 bucks a month. Oh, three bucks a month? 20, two zero. All right, my bad. I'm driving. I kind of, I'm driving on the highway and I can't hear. Okay, 20. No, All right, thanks, man. Yeah. All right, anything else? Cool. We good? Hello? Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, so I've gotten the whole, I've gotten the skip trace, the, 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 um, the bin very, I got all that stuff, right? So I guess the one that's actually going to use is the the one that's going to work is the one I actually use, right? There's a bunch of these different uh, other websites or whatever that does the exact same thing. Right. Okay. So yeah, because I was getting confused. I was I would hear about uh, a list source. I would get that. I would hear about uh, uh, skip trick. Um, it was a skip REI. I would get that. And I'm thinking to myself, I, you know, I'm getting all these different things, but you know, I got the driving for dollars uh, app. I got the, uh, the, you know, I just started getting all of them. And then at some point, I th I thought to myself, well, maybe I just need to pick one and use that. Yeah. Are you paying for all of these? Pretty. Yeah. Okay. So what you need to do is. Um, go to the next level right so it sounds like you are paying for a lot of lead generating stuff or like you like you have the list and now it's time to start reaching out to the list and maybe that's why um you were asking about the virtual assistants because the virtual assistants can help you with that so what i'm doing right now like if you if you have skip tracing and you purchase the list and then you skip trace the list and you have their contact information you the next step is pretty much figuring out like what marketing method that you're going to use if it's going to be digital since you pay for um 
you know, that information. So the next thing is like, are you going to send out postcards or are you going to do the ringless voicemail or, you know, what are you going to use? Um, right now I'm trying out ringless voicemail and I have 1500 leads and like I dropped a voicemail tonight at six o'clock and I got over a hundred callbacks already. So wow. the next step is getting a VA to go through all of those um, voicemails and filter out, um, you know, which ones did they actually leave like a voicemail on, which ones did they say, don't call me no more, you know, whatever, go through those and then mark all of those. And then from there, contact, you know, go through that list and then contact, um, you know, the, the people who might be actually potential like real deals and then also from there once you get somebody on the phone whether um it's you calling or whether it's a virtual assistant or what have you um i don't know if you guys remember from the webinar with brandon but he was saying um everybody gets an offer and so i'm actually going to implement that and pretty much um one of my assistants actually has kind of created um like, and, and this might be, I hope I'm not making it too complex, but are you guys familiar with Podio at all or like a CRM? No, no, I've heard of it, but I'm not familiar with it. Okay. Uh, well, okay. That might be a little, anyway. So the next step is to, um, whoever's on the phone, whether it's you are on the phone or whether you have a VA on the phone, basically whoever's on the phone talking to, um, you know, this owner, the seller, you yeah. want to, because you know you're targeting a certain area, right? Let's say you're targeting in a certain zip code or a certain um, neighborhood or whatever. You should know the numbers in that community or get familiar with the numbers in that community. And most of the time, the numbers don't shift too much, especially like on if it's a full cut. So like in Chicago, there are certain areas that like there's a lot of um, three bedroom, you know, one bath or two bath, like uh, raised ranch homes, brick raised ranches. And so I know the numbers on there at a full gut. So worst case scenario, you know, if I know that the properties are selling at this price and, you know, based on what you tell me, hey, the, you know, do you have, um, does the property have any new plumbing or heating or roof, you know, what, you know, what has been done in the last five years. And that's going to be a part of, you know, building rapport with the seller too, is having that conversation and making those notes. And then if they like, you know, nah, it's messed up, it's really bad or whatever, um, you know, just kind of work backwards off your number from there, but, and, and just start submitting offers. But then you also are submitting offers contingent on viewing the property. So you also can prepare them for that. You know, that even though like this is a preliminary offer, um, because I want to let you know that I'm serious, you know, about this business and, you know, I'm not trying to play with you. So I'm sending, submitting the offer. Now, most sellers don't know that, oh, you know, even though you submitted an offer, you can still back out of the contract, you know, but some people see that as like, oh, wow. Okay. So this person is serious and, you know, they're, they're more than likely going to, um, you know, want to continue that conversation with you and actually do a deal with you. Um, I'm gonna stop there. I hope that helps. Okay, no, it did. And okay, so what do you say if they think that if they're getting into a contract that they can't get out of, is that that other, what is, there's an assignment and then there's another thing um, that you paid $100 for or something like that? You What's familiar? there, you in? There's a, there's something that you pay, um, there's the assignment and then there's a due diligence. What state are you in? I'm in, I'm in Massachusetts. Okay. So when you go on, I, I don't know what the state of Massachusetts is. So I would definitely say, you You're know, talking about check the, the earnest deposit. Yeah. I think that's the one. Is that where you can oh, back up? Okay. 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 Yeah. So, so you want to make sure that in your contract that you have um, a contingency period. So in the state of Illinois, um, we have like uh, an inspection period. Um, attorney review period, things like that. And usually that's like a seven day period. And within that, you know, if you put down earnest money or if somebody puts down earnest money on a property, you still have the option to go and do your due diligence and your inspections and stuff like that within a certain period. That's how it works in Illinois. I would say check and see if it's the same as the time frame for you. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you again. You're welcome. 
Ah, man, this is all right. So I'm I'm full. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and um try to decipher all this stuff. And you know, I think the big deal right now is just to pretty much go get the list, get it um, skip traced, and 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 start getting these calls because. I'm not gonna learn anything by just because I'm be honest, be honest with you, I'm being real hesitant because I'm afraid analysis, I might you know. Analysis paralysis. That's it. That's it. I just found out about that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I just found out about it and then I found out that I have it. So you know what? Everybody got it inside of a bag. You just gotta you just gotta push through it and you know what? It's gonna be uncomfortable and it's gonna be scary. I haven't gotten a deal yet. But I got some things in the works and just getting the things in the works and just moving forward, just doing the things that you got to do to get the deal is what you got to do, man. The, the, the little so things, are, man. Are you, you, so are, you make, are you making the calls? Are you doing all the stuff that you need to do? Are you doing all that? Okay. So I just, I just got my first phone call from a bandit sign. Oh. Cool. And I just got my, phone, my first phone call from a postcard that I sent that was rather quickly. And the dude got a few properties on hand, so I'm looking to do some JVs. Oh yeah, in, I heard you in, talk in, about in the area. Yeah, That's so good. I'm new at it too, man. And, and I'm gonna talk to my man Ja later on, and he's gonna give me some ideas. He might be the person we JV with. You never know, man. And um, we just gonna make it. We just gotta make it happen. You gotta, you gotta do something because you can know every. You're not gonna know everything, man. I'm learning as I go. You gotta fail for it. Just learn as you go. You are gonna make mistakes. Make the mistakes early. So that later on, man, you don't make the same mistake. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Give yep. me an example. I just, I bought a list. I'm actually today, I had the list for about three, four weeks, man. I'm actually going to actually have my daughter sit down with me, put it on the Google, whatever that thing is. And we're going right. to actually uh, do what we got to do with the list. So I can make some phone calls because it's like 400 names and numbers right there. And I do a lot of driving for dollars, but I can, I can do more driving for dollars. I realized right. after listening to the stories, it take massive effort to make this happen, man. One, two, three calls ain't gonna make it happen, man. Yeah, no, you gotta I keep call massive amount of people. I I keep hearing, I keep hearing, uh, it's a numbers game, right? It's and a numbers game. Yeah, numbers and game. the other thing, you know, what's crazy, right? I used to sit at a phone and do telemarketing for like four to six hours, right? And I'm thinking, well, why can't I do that for myself? So you, Huh? You, you can only answer that question right there, but I think you got the skills to make it happen, man. You just got to make it happen. You just got to take action, man. I appreciate I mean, that. I mean, the other night, I felt, this is my third time putting out business signs, right? I got out of work at 12 o'clock. My mind was like, I didn't want to do it. I was like, man, if you don't get your ass out of here and go put some business signs up, I put them <laughs> up. I went and looked at my other business signs. They still was hanging. And I got a phone call. I got a whole nother phone. I ain't even, I stopped carrying the phone. All of a sudden, the phone stopped ringing. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> You bought the phone, you need to have it on you for when people call you. I got a phone call. I, it was a cash buyer. So wow. and that's, that's just a little. It was a lot. It was over three weeks at 75 signs. I don't know how many um, cards I put out. But if I want to generate more business, I got to put out, send out more, 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 post, um, send out more postcards. I got to make some offers. I got to make a lot of offers. And that's the only way yeah. you're going to get the deal, man. Yeah, I hear and, you. And I it's... Um, there's, there was a quick shift, man, because I had the time, you know, I was home and I'm a contractor and things started picking up right away, right after the, the holidays, man. So I got like six, eight jobs lined up. I'm going, going, going. I'm setting everything up. And now I'm like, I don't have the time to put into, you know, this business here. So, but you know what? You know I what? hate you, man. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to take you that suggestion. You, huh? What'd you say? You paid you paid the thousand dollars for the course. You paid a G for the course, right? Yes, I did. You paid it. Okay, I'm trying to make my thousand dollars back. I want I my thousand dollars back, right? And right. And, and and so like you gotta make time. Right. You got we gotta make time. We got 24 hours in a day. We can watch TV. We can twiddle our thumbs. We can smoke cigarettes. We can do this. We yeah. can do that. Yo, you just gotta make time, yo. And it ain't it ain't easy else everybody be doing it. But when I see people like Logan do it. And then I see other people. My homegirl sent me a check the other day, forty thousand dollars. It's like, like a four fifth deal, and two checks for ten thousand dollars. I feel like, like I just met them, and they showing me they. And, and I'm like, you know what? This is real. And now I want to feel what it feel like. What Logan felt like when he got his first check. I don't even care if it's a thousand dollars. 
I'm not I a greedy you. dude. So I'm willing to JV with cats, and I'm willing to just make it happen, man. You just gotta, you gotta make it happen. I'm, I don't know, I don't know how many deals y'all other people, other people on this um, conference call close. Cut. But cut. I want to be cut. the um. Shady. Yeah. Conroy, I can I, I can JV with you. I have I have the time. I just don't have all the resources. I do have Deal Machine, and I do that every day. I I drive for dollars all the time. It's just um, but I don't yeah, have. I, I can't get a I, list, so we can JV on a few things. Yeah. Yes, we have each there other's contact. I actually had that in mind. Um, I actually had that in mind, and um, there is a. Uh, I actually, pro I think I probably got about maybe two or three hundred from driving for dollars, because I when I first heard it and I, I did the Max Maxwell thing, sat in the room for like three weeks studying all the YouTube stuff, man, and you know, and I said, all right, I'm ready, let's go, right? And I went out there, man. I I didn't realize there were so many abandoned properties around, so I started writing them down, and then I got the deal machine and and this and that and that, and then I then I got too much. I didn't know what the hell to do, you know? So, you know, so this is good right here. It's centering me back up, you know? So now I know what I got to do tomorrow, you know? Um, shit, I might just get on the phone and, and get that list right now. Man, just do it. Yeah, I hear you, bro. Just do it, man. Just do I hear it, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that analysis paralysis, that, that's the deal breaker right there every single time. Every single time, I said, you know, I didn't know about that until I started watching all these YouTube videos, man. That this, that analysis paralysis is the thing, right? That you think you, you think yourself into it and out of it, right? Well, you know what? Yeah, you, and it's been around for a long time. I'm listening to the Richest Men in Babylon. <laughs> it existed way back then, too, man. So That's it's here. You know, I think it's in, in us, man. We just got to fight through it, man, and push through it. Yeah. got to do what... We gotta do what others don't to have what others won't. I can you got, we that. gotta be willing to do what other people ain't willing to do. That's that's how you get your that's how you get the deal, man. That's how you get in that five percent, right? Cause it says five percent. That's how you get the, whatever you get, man. I hear you. It's the five it's the five percent, one percent, whatever it is. You just gotta be willing to put that work in and get it done. No, I hear you, man. But, I, you uh, know, I, I heard two things. Like you're gonna you you're gonna feel like you're not gonna wanna do it, but go do it anyway. And then I heard another thing mm -hmm. that said, hey, like th there was a guy talking about, you know, a bunch of people in the room and he said, hey, you know what? Half of y'all ain't even going to be here in two months. And I said, you know what? And that's, that's what it's like. You, you go to school and then it's a whole classroom and before graduation, it's about three or four people in the classroom. That's, that's what I'm talking about, man. And I want it too bad, bro. I just got to, I got to step through this fear, man, because I don't know how, you know. And, and I, can't I, nobody I, do it for you. Analysis thing. And I was like, okay, I got it. And I started moving, started moving. And I remember I tried to skip trace a list and the thing came up all mumbo jumbo and it just kind of discouraged me, you know? So now I just got to go back to the drawing board and do it again. That's it. Yeah, so Conroy, man, I'm going to wrap it up, man. There's a, it's not a day, man. Quarter, quarter nine real quick and I want to get on this thing before it gets too late. So, okay, George, Logan, I appreciate man, thank you, you man. for showing up, man. We really appreciate it. I learned a lot from you. And um, Conroy, man, I wish you the best of luck, man. You you, you know what you got to do, man. You just got to do it. Thank you. Thank you, man. And thank you, everyone. Welcome, Thanks bro. for everyone. And uh, you guys have a good night. Yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm getting starving. So. so yeah. Hey, Logan, Thanks, thank Logan. you, man. Thanks, yeah. Logan. Thanks, Logan. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, have a great night, man. I, I hope I hope he wasn't starving because I was cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. We were all starving. Like, where is our dinner? <laughs> hey. hey, good night, y'all. All right, y'all. Hey, right, George, I'm I'm um, I'm gonna call you in a few, okay, George? Thank you, bro.